Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're getting Troy's truck ready to go down the road. And we're trying to beat the rain because there's rain coming and not driving this thing in the rain. It's not gonna happen. Uh, we gotta keep it clean to take it to Louisville. So if, it, if we don't beat the rain today, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe just keep working on it in here till the rain quits. But we've got a short window of opportunity. If we can get this truck done tonight. Um, before the rainstorm comes and get it to Crossville. That'll be awesome. If we don't, we'll figure something else out, come with a new game plan. But this truck's coming together, and by the end of this video, what you're fixing to see, this, this thing's gonna be pretty awesome. So uh, follow along, video's pretty fun. All right, so here is where we have landed at the present moment. Um, the truck runs on its own power. We've moved it around, all that's good. Everything's happy. Um, got the hood back on today. We got the stock bumper back on, which we're changing the bumper out. It'll get a 12 gauge, 20 inch blind mount bumper on the front end. Um, we still gotta do our front air dump kit on this dude. Um, started, you know, I changed these, all the pipes up front here. So you got both your air to airs and our upper radiator hose changed out. Those are Dynaflex deals. And then when we get a Crossville, the other shop, we'll put on the uh, the rest of this kit, which is just that pipe there. And then the one that goes down over to the turbo. I'll kind of show you. And then, so basically all of that, and then straight to the turbo and everything will be nice and pretty and chrome. So we've got, uh, we've got that left due under the hood and the air dump kit. Um, Peter's already polished the front fenders on this thing, but he is coming up in a couple of days and he's gonna polish all the rest of this truck out. Um, we're also, we're changing the boxes on this truck. So we're doing the 12 gauge um, stainless boxes. They're all one piece, super nice looking. Those are going on it. Um, we got the breather bars, which we still got to put on there. And um, we got some pretty cool trick breather bars we had made for this truck. They're, they're pretty nice. And we're gonna do the breather chops on it and bring those down a little bit. And we're also going to be swapping out these lights here, putting watermelon lights on it. I think we're going to do 13 lights on the cab. So there'll be 13 up there. Um, tanks, we got those put back on and polished and we got the exhaust on and we're making headway. Um, one thing we really lack back here right now is finishing doing, we, gotta, we started on the wiring, so we got to finish the wiring for all the lights. We still got an underglow kit to put on this dude too. Um, but the wiring is going to be a little time consuming. There's a lot of lights to still wire up on this dude. Hubs are all painted nice and pretty. We even got up under the fifth wheel. All that's legendary black. And, uh, this deck plate is freaking awesome looking. Shock box cover is in the paint booth right now getting painted and then 
we'll get that all put together and stick that on the truck here soon. The one thing, if I get enough time and we can make it work, I would like to put an eye panel between the tanks. I don't know if that's gonna happen yet or not. Um, we wanna get all the rest of everything else finished with this truck, and then if there is enough time, we can paint one and get it put on. We're gonna put an eye panel between the tanks there. Uh, so fingers crossed. I think, I think we can pull it off, but I don't know yet for sure. Um, we're also gonna remove the mirror up here, uh, the little ground mirror, and we're gonna take that dude off, just kind of clean this up a little bit. But as you can see, we made some good headway. I'll run over here and show you in the paint booth real quick. Um, kind of what we got going on over there. So we got two more fenders. We're gonna put the fit tomorrow, we're putting the fenders on and we are, so we'll do fenders. What else we got left to do tomorrow? Fenders, at least wire up the taillights so we can drive that dude all the way back to, uh, we can try to do back to Crossville. Um, and the shock box cover, that really can go on. That really can go on anytime but mm -mm -mm. shock box covers painted it's a pretty trick deal too when it's all said and done put on there it'll look awesome but uh he just mark just finished painting this today so he'll get that out in the morning get it all buffed and pretty and ready to go so, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. We've been, uh, let's see, turn the lights off. There we go. Oh, no, didn't turn them all off. There we go. So we're getting close. I mean, we've got, we've got enough time. We're going to make it, but we've got a whole lot to do before we're actually going to get there. So, um, and we still got two more trucks we're working on in the shop in Crossville that we got to have completely done in time too. So, it's a lot of work to get done before we get to Mid-America. But at this point today, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, we got a whole, we got a whole truck now. It's all one piece. Shock freaking. He helped me all. We worked all weekend. Um, just a lot. We've worked a lot. And he's been a trooper. That dude's always on top of it, getting stuff done. So uh, we'll make it. We will definitely make it. I'm getting pretty excited about this thing. When these fenders go on, this truck's gonna look so good with those fenders back here and all the lights. I think uh, all the chrome bezels and everything on this T-bar back here and that polished stainless airline box in there, freaking, it looks sharp. You can never, like black and chrome always looks good. I don't care who you are, it always looks good. But yeah, that's where we're at. All right, so update on Troy's truck. We're about to start wiring all these lights up. I made this huge wiring harness for all these lights that Troy needed. Freaking huge wiring harness, I'm telling you. So with that said, I'm gonna have Brian plug them all in. <laughs> I, I, got, uh, I got the job of like, here, go under here where it's really nice and comfortable yeah. and plug in the 900 lights back here. Why yeah. in the world? Does a truck need 200 lights on it? Must be afraid of the dark. That's it. Yeah. That's why they call them the chicken lights? Yeah. Because you're Must chicken. Be. <laughs> well, we're going to get this done. We're getting close. About ready to drive this thing today. Update on what we got going on here. So I just put on our watermelon light bracket. So that's a truck's watermelon light amber and the 12 gauge. Um, bracket that goes on the mirror there and we sell this bracket on our website so what I've done just to make things look better is I've wrapped the factory gray in the black and then I've heat shrunk all the wires in here uh, so they're all nice and black looking just kind of helps clean up the look of everything we got it zip tied up in there um, you can kind of see better there you go so this kind of makes that look a little nicer because over here on the driver's side, widen this out. That's what it looks like from the factory on the driver's side. You got your tags and 
you have the gray and the black and it's just tape wrapped around it right there. Uh, and then it's, you know, a little messy looking over here. So now that, show you this side again, we got this done. It's just a lot cleaner, less messy looking deal, as you can tell there. So that side's done, fix and do the other side. But before we do that, we're gonna put some fenders on and uh, we just got a few more lights to put in here. This wiring harness is quite elaborate. It's a lot of wiring. <laughs> it's a lot of wiring. How many lights are in the back of this? There's four or five, so there's 10. Then you got two, four, Eight, two. 18 of them. 18. And then five on the bottom. Yeah, so 18 plus 10, it's 28, 30. Three, so yeah, and one T-bar. That's a lot. Did I do my math right? Sounds good. It's, <laughs> it's late. It's getting late. We keep working all these late hours. We're uh, we're almost like we're almost like sleep deprived and laughing a little bit. But yeah, so um, we're gonna we're gonna throw some fenders on here. And I also just realized you've probably just seen this truck in the background. And, uh, yep, that's our old show truck. We will make a video on this probably tomorrow, and I'll share out what we're doing there. So uh, we just backed it in here tonight. So, yeah, that will be an interesting video. Um, but back to what we're doing here. We're going to go ahead and get fenders on this dude. We have to drive this truck tonight. It's got to go. We have to go to cross with it because it looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah. And we're not driving soon. in the rain. We'll have to go soon, so let's we're, get to work. Okay, let's do it. All right, we got three fenders on and we just decided to put the lights in, take a break from the other fender for a minute. Now we're gonna see if they work. Oh, they work. Dang. Yep, we got a left blinker. We got a right blinker. Oh, we got backup lights. Very nice. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, we've got, we got three of the fenders on. We're fixed to put the other one on. This light bar looks awesome, especially back there in the back. I like it. We got to drive this thing to Crossville tonight. So, uh, we'll get, uh, we'll get this other fender on there and then we're going to hit the road because we got to, we got a lot to do yet. Um, but man, this thing looks freaking awesome. But we got to beat the rain. That's the most important piece of the puzzle, beat the rain. So we'll throw uh, this last fender on there and, uh, and we'll head out. We're going to actually put the rest of these lights on uh, probably tomorrow morning. Um, but we'll have it together enough where we can just get it to the other shop before we, before we get rained on. Oh, yeah. You ready to do this? Oh, yeah. All right. Got the fenders on. Them's is done. Look freaking awesome. It is now about 9:30, and it started raining. It literally just started raining. So we are not leaving with this truck tonight. Now it's gonna have to stay here, which is not what we needed, but the truck's gonna literally have to stay here all day tomorrow. And then I can probably take it the following morning because I think the roads will be dry by then. But it's like, it's raining. So we were trying to beat that storm coming in and just didn't make it. 
but that's okay. We still got some stuff we can do on Troy's truck here tonight. And then uh, we'll go back up to Cross. He'll do some work, come back, and then get Troy's. And uh, I think we'll, we'll still be fine. We just gotta gotta plan out what we're doing. So we still got some other truck stuff to finish. But um, over here, we got this shock box cover. I think it's pretty slick. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks awesome. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, yeah, we didn't beat the ring. We almost beat the ring. It literally, we were ready to roll this thing out the door and it started raining about five minutes before we were ready to go. So, uh, I don't know, we called it a night last night when we got to that point and um, we got a new game plan. So uh, basically now we're gonna go back to Crossville, finish up Timmy Cameron's truck 100%. And by then the rain should be gone. Then we're gonna come back, get Troy's truck and I reckon we're just going to work on this thing all weekend to get it ready to go, um, which is fine. I mean, we're going to make it happen. The thing's going to make it across Crossville. We just, the rain beat us. We didn't, uh, we weren't fast enough. It happens. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. But if you look at this thing, pretty sharp. The fenders and T-bars and everything all painted in this. I mean, it's, uh, it's coming together. This, this truck's going to be one nice truck to look at in Louisville. I'm, uh. I'm pretty excited about it. Also want to make this really like you guys got to do this. Go check out Troy Massey's YouTube channel. Um, it's Stockville Customs on uh, on YouTube. I put a link down in the in the bottom here. Uh, those guys are building two really awesome trucks for Louisville and should be pretty entertaining because he's he's had some challenges to get ready for Louisville in their videos and uh, those trucks are those trucks are pretty freaking cool so uh go check them out stockville customs and uh otherwise make sure you like subscribe follow us on instagram at semi casual show and make sure you like and subscribe our channel we're trying to get to 100,000 followers here we're at like the 80,000 mark right now and uh just do it you, you want to see all the other videos and the notifications when we make videos so you got to do it and uh go to our website semi casual show.com and other than that We'll see you guys at Mid-America, or you'll see us at Mid-America because we're going to make a bunch of videos over there. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see y'all on the next video. Later. Later.